As you may know, in Photoshop, we have the option to remove a background with a simple click of a button. And this does a fairly good job. It's not perfect. I mean, it does have a lot of rough areas and this is bound to happen because it's a difficult background to remove. The best way to do this is to actually select the object first. This will automatically detect what it is that you are wanted to remove. And we're also going to use other tools such as the polygonal lasso tool just to subtract this selection right here since we don't need the table to be included. Once you're happy with your selection and it's selecting most of your object, you can then go ahead and go to the brush icon and go down to select and mask. In here, we can do a lot of useful things such as refining those edges by using the second tool. This is honestly great for bringing back those details and just fixing up how it's actually supposed to look. So as you can see, if you select the background color, you can sample that color and this will focus on removing it from here. The best way to do this is to take your time, go around it, and you don't want to go too deep into the image because it will start to distort and remove way too much. The great thing about this is that this can also restore some of that small detail and it's honestly great for hair, fur, and any type of detail like that. So as you can see, we're bringing back the detail. We are fixing it up. Now, this can also struggle as well. As good as this tool is, it does also have its downsides. So for example, you can see we have some really faded areas like here. And if we switch over to the black and white preview, you can see the pixelation and also how soft this area is. Now, this is when we can switch over to the third tool down, which is the brush tool. And this allows us to bring back that area just by painting over this area right here. You can always switch back to the normal preview by pressing V. And we're just going to preview this. However, if you have any areas like this, you can just bring it back. You will also run into other problems such as this wooden piece right here. If we try to use the edge enhancement tool or refinement tool, you can see it struggles to remove the shadows from the object. So in this case, what you will need to do is you will need to actually help the program or the feature by using the brush tool, subtracting it from here, and then removing it like so. Once you've removed a fairly good amount of it, you can try again and just remove the area from here. Switching back to the white background. We are slowly but surely getting there. We want to bring this one back. And then once again, subtract it from here. We also have this small detail right here. Now, another great tool for this is the polygonal lasso tool. You can also use it in the select and mask. And this one is great for areas that are a lot more stubborn. You would first of all hold Alt to subtract it from here, get yourself a selection. And then going all the way around back to the first one and connect it up. And there we go, this will remove it from here. If you wanted to, you can try the edge refinement tool just to fix up the dark areas. And sometimes this will fix it, but it will leave more of a smudge behind. So it's best to use the brush tool and just lightly remove it from here. So just soften it up and you want to try your best to maintain as much detail as possible.
Sometimes you will have certain areas as well where it's really difficult to tell the difference between the dark areas and the light areas. So if we try to remove the decking right here, you can see the black area will remain. This is simply because it's a lot more thicker and Photoshop actually thinks that it's supposed to be there and it's the area that you want to keep, which in this case, we don't want to keep it. So we're just going to use the polygonal lasso tool and we're going to have to manually cut this out. And if you're ever struggling with, let's say, color splash or color fringe, where the edges have part of the background. So for example, if you had a green screen, you may have a little bit of a color cast on the edges. Well, to remove that, you can always scroll down to the bottom and you can use an option near the bottom called decontaminate colors. If you select this, this will automatically fix those edges and it will recolor that original color that is supposed to be on the edges. This is honestly great for hair and so much more. However, we don't personally need this, so we can actually leave it as, as it is. And we can also go to the output and set this to a new layer with layer mask. Once you're happy with everything, you want to go ahead and press OK. And this will create us a mask, which we can always go back to and re-edit if we need to. Now, one final note before I go, you can also use a really cool shortcut, which is to hold Alt and then left click on the mask. And if you go to the brush tool, and if you set the brush to an overlay, this will only affect either the white or the black area. So for example, if we set this brush to something like, let's say 40 or 50 pixels or something higher, if we set the opacity to around, let's say 40%, we can select a white color and by brush in the edges, this will only affect the Y area. So as you can see, if we paint outside of the area, it won't really do anything. And this is great for bringing back that detail and just making those edges that are really soft to become more solid again. And if we have a look at this now, you can see we have a lot of really nice details that are back. Another thing I like to do is I also like to add a layer in between. So if you get yourself a solid, set it to a red color, place it in between, and lower this to 50%. You can see any areas that you've missed. So if you wanted to bring this back, you can select the mask. Using the brush tool, we're going to set it to normal, and then lower the opacity to something like, let's say, 16. We're just going to lightly brush this back onto here. And this will gradually bring it back. We need to make it a little bit more solid. Same goes for this area. And like I said before, if you have really, really soft edges, where you can barely see those little fine little hairs or fur, you can always press Control or Command and J, duplicate your layer, and this will make it solid and it will fill in those soft edges.